What's going on guys? I'm Steve. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. If it's your first time stopping by the channel, hit that subscribe button. Trust me, you won't regret it. You're returning subscribe as always, guys. Welcome back and I do appreciate the support. Guys, I uh, want to talk a little bit more about the Alicia Watts situation where she's missing and a lot of people are suspecting James Dunmore, her boyfriend, of being the prime suspect. But um, in this video, I want to talk a little bit about both of those situations. And um, I have some inside information that I'm going to speak about that I can't tell you where I got it from. They are people that are very, very close. You know what I'm saying to the situation. So I'm going to go over a couple of things with that. But before that, the reason why I brought this video up Besides yesterday being uh, the two week mark of her missing or disappearance. Friends and family are out there searching for her. On their own hunches. Without the help of the police. And I think that's a messed up thing. And I know the police are doing what they got to do. But I mean, people are concerned. Like I said, time is of the essence. It's summertime is hot. People don't know if she's alive or otherwise, if she's hurt, suffering, what have you. Let me play this video clip. We'll come back, talk about the video clip, and I'll talk a little bit about some information that was told to me. All right, let's check it out. It has been two weeks, and family and friends are still searching for 39-year-old Alicia Watts. Family members tell us Watts, who is from Moore County, was in Charlotte to see her boyfriend. She was also last seen on July the 16th. Today, a group of her loved ones searched across Charlotte, hoping to find any kind of clue to where she could be. WBTV's Erica Lunsford joins us live now from CMPD with more on this search. Erica, good evening. Brandon, family members and friends have expressed how difficult the past two weeks have been not knowing where Alicia is, but share they are not giving up hope. We're looking, Alicia, baby. We're coming. Doing the best we can. Sunday afternoon, loved ones of 39-year-old Alicia Watts spread out in Charlotte, taking action to help bring her back home. Just doing the best we can for a search in all areas, all remote areas that, you know, in the leaves that we've got hold to. We're just trying to do our best on foot, just a few of us, but we're going to do what we can with what we got. Vicki Brown and others searched near areas around Camp North End. I'm here along Woodward Avenue where family and friends of Alicia Watts spent their time searching for her. They searched through businesses and warehouses and even deserted lots like this behind me here, hanging up posters pleading for the community to help find Alicia Watts. Watts was last seen in Charlotte on July 16th. Family tells us she was in town from Moore County visiting her boyfriend who lived on Pamela Lorraine Drive. Pamela Lorraine Drive is where she was reported missing from. Police recently found her SUV at a DMV office in Anson County with a man believed to be her boyfriend unresponsive inside. Police have searched the home of the man who is said to be her boyfriend at least two times. We're not afraid to find her. We're afraid that as we go in these places that no one tries to harm us. Brown and others are hoping they find Watts soon. God be with us. God be with her wherever she is. All right, guys, that uh, news article just aired about an hour ago. And a couple of things I noticed in there that kind of was upsetting to me. The fact that it was a handful of people searching for this woman in the Charlotte area. Supposedly they had another search it didn't mention in the video clip in Anson County and the Anson County. I think if I'm correct was where he was found at the DMV. And I said in the earlier video where he was unresponsive in the DMV parking lot found by police. I think most likely she is in that County somewhere, you know, because, and the reason why I say that is this, he was so comfortable to pull over there in another county and just chill out and go to sleep or be unresponsive, whichever unresponsive means. He has to know that area. I would make that ground zero where he was at within a 10 mile radius and I'd go from there and out. 
I would check every uh, landfill. I would check every vacant lot, vacant house, any strange container or tote that's just in a random area. I would, I would check it. This guy is a criminal, or he was a criminal. He's done crimes against women before, including malicious wounding. Some, uh, a little bit about him that uh, is not out here. People that know her and have been around this man say that he has a jealous, a little bit of jealousy in him. Not jealousy of like another man trying to take her, but of her success. It was brought up to me multiple times by multiple people that uh, he would like come at her like, oh, you think you're better than me or. Oh, you know, you, he would like come at her achievements. Oh, like your, your achievements. Everybody can't do what you do in this type of stuff. And I'm going to tell you, ladies, something. Jealousy of a woman and you're supposed to be her man is dangerous. And it's dangerous for you. I'm sure she wasn't bragging to him, but he's around her. She's in meetings. She's meeting people. She's helping people. People like the aura she gives off. He's still trying to get on his feet, living with his sister. He meets a girl. She got assets. Her own spot in another city. A nice car. She's doing well for herself where he wants to be. It never never works sometimes a man can't see past a woman's achievements and it puts obstacles up that aren't even there women don't think like men men don't think like women a lot of women have assets and all this stuff and they just meet a guy on a level of as if they didn't have it at all they looking through the lenses of i like this guy they're not worrying about all the stuff they got Sometimes they say, hey, I can help this guy, which is a bad move in my book. But I mean, things are what they thought they are. Ladies, I'm going to tell you, stop dating down. And this is the thing that's messed up in how the world plays these games with y'all. You hold this whole thing. I'm an independent woman. I'm a strong black woman. I don't need no man. You are only one half of the circle of life. You're only one half of another half that'll make you whole. So all of this, I don't need no man and all of this other stuff and I'm independent and all that. This is starting to backfire. It is. Now, I'm not saying she was speaking at, speaking at, but as a woman, when you gather a lot of assets, and you far down the road, a lot of men don't want to run after you because they feel as though they can't keep up because their mindset's not right. And I think this is the case. When me and the people was talking, her uh, uh, so people close to her, I don't want to say who they were. It dawned on me. That is a motive right there to start under low key hating on somebody. And I forgot to turn my phone down. I'm sorry about that. Think about it. Jealousy is a not a good trait for a man to have. She's 39. He got to be up there. If that's in you right now, it's going to always be in you. Men date with purpose. Men date with purpose. If a man is going to date you at my age or me, period, if I'm dating you, I'm seeing you as a future wife. I'm not just seeing you as a girlfriend. I'm a grown man. I don't need a girlfriend. I'm looking for a wife. You vet somebody for future, for the future. She's doing well. I don't know his situation, but she, a lot of times when people get sacrificed and do the work for success, they're looking for that final piece of the puzzle. And I think Mr. Dunmore was her final piece. 
And hopefully he wasn't the final piece that did her in because I hope she's alive. But I mean, with every passing day and nobody hears nothing. Hope starts to fade. Like I said, a lot of people out there looking for. It wasn't enough, if you ask me. Now, a lot of people don't know her. But I mean, if you are a woman. Honestly. You got social media. I see a lot of people putting their poster up. That helps because somebody it might trigger somebody's subconscious. I seen her in him. I just and then the word gets out. Hell, the police might be looking for a clue that somebody could say on social media or on a video. And somebody said, you know what? I was there, but I remember it. And now it's another tip for the police. You notice in the video, they didn't say his name or his face. They didn't show his face. The reason why they didn't do that, ladies and gentlemen, is the second part I wanted to tell you. He's not even considered a suspect right now. Whatever he told them. I don't know if they brought it or not. How is he not a suspect right now? That's like somebody being disappeared. Well, it means the same thing. Somebody disappeared. People are fearing the worst. They're searching for you the closest person to her in that area that she came to see other than the cousins that live down the block. Right. She went out with you, disappeared with you. You got the car. You got the phone. You ain't no suspect. Something wrong. Something wrong. Something wrong, y'all. But I mean, like I said, anytime the story come up, man, if something new come up or I hear something from people that are very close to her, to the source. I'm going to come out and talk about it. But, you know, they said negative things about it. And then when I heard that part where he she said he was like trying to dim her light. You know, oh, you think you better than me or. Coming at our achievements like, all right, you ain't got to, you know, you know what I'm talking about. That hating type shit. How you going to hate on somebody that you're supposed to be building a relationship with? If they go up, you go up. I don't understand it. But I mean, I guess we never will. Like I said, man, anybody know something or anything like that? They had held the vigil for uh, Alicia. I didn't do a video on that. But like I said, people care. We all need to care. Leave me a comment on this, man. Tell me what you think. I'm going to say it again. As always, like, comment, share, and subscribe. I'm Stock Market Steve with the Dynamic Reason channel, the People's Channel, where everybody got a voice. Leave me a comment. I'll see you in the next video. Take care.